Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, when is the right time to sleep with a guy? Now, before we get into this, if you're seeking some, if you're a woman who's seeking uh, some help when it comes to understanding men and you'd like to get the male perspective, in other words, get inside a guy's head, then check out the link below to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me to see if coaching is right for you. Okay, let's talk about when is the right time to have sex with a guy. So I'm often asked, does a man lose respect for a woman? if they have sex on the first date. In other words, does a man lose respect for a woman? And my question would be, would you lose respect for a man if he slept with you on the first date? And I'm, I'm turning it around only because um, while there might be the occasional situation where a man might lose respect for a woman, what does it really say about your relationship if you had sex on the first date? Now, I'm here to say I'm not, here to judge or anything and i'm not going to even remotely suggest that having sex on the first date is a deal breaker or killer to a relationship let me talk about deal breakers for a second deal breakers are what are deal breakers for you and i don't think that's a deal breaker for a guy in other words most men aren't going to say up oh, she's not the one but i do want to give you some advice when it comes to having sex uh, with a man and I want you to follow an acronym I've created over the years that might help you. And then let's revisit this about when's the right time to have sex with a guy. Okay, so the acronym is called CARES. C-A-R-E-S, okay? <laughs> Hope you can figure that out with the squiggle. CARES, okay? C-A-R-E-S. And there's nothing coming on the screen to tell you this. Okay, what does CARES stand for? The C stands for comfortable. My recommendation when it comes to having sex with anyone is don't have sex unless you feel comfortable. So in other words, if you feel pressured, if you're caught up in the moment and you don't feel comfortable, maybe you've had a little bit too much to drink, maybe you know alcohol is re you know affecting your judgment or whatnot, ask yourself, do you really feel comfortable having sex with someone that pot is most likely a stranger in your life, okay? Um, and we'll delve into that in a second. So the C stands for comfortable. The A stands for aware. Be aware of the consequences. In other words, if you have a propensity to attach to someone very quickly, especially, in other words, you bond with someone incredibly quickly when you have sex, then be aware of the consequences because there's always the possibility that that relate might be just a one night thing for you or maybe one or two nights and it moves on. So be aware of the consequences because men can have sex with women and not bond and attach in the same way. Now we, we, we can bond with a woman. So I'm going to say it's not that it's impossible, but we men have a propensity to want to spread our seed and not get attached to someone. Whereas a woman, oftentimes the minute she is intimate with a man, uh, chemicals like oxytocin are released in the brain that cause you to bond with someone. So I'd be highly aware of the consequences, okay? So the R, and this is really important. This is where time might be a factor uh, in the dating process is the R stands for learn his real intentions, his real intentions. Like what's his real intentions in relationship? Now, I'm here to say if, if you're, and by the way, I'm not here to judge again sex, right? I'm, I'm here to say if, if sex is, is not important to you from the perspective of a committed relationship, that's okay too. But my invitation for you is learn his real intentions. And it takes time to learn someone's real intentions. In fact, someone once told me it takes 100 hours of face-to-face -face time just to, get to, just to get past the first layer of getting to know another human being. In other words, spending time together, doing shared activities, hobbies, mutual interests, spending time with family and friends. It takes a bit of time to get to know someone and to get to know their real intentions because oftentimes men can say all the right things but they don't really mean it so it requires in fact that's what i do in my coaching program when when clients hire me i i have this thing called improve your gps which stands for improve your guy picking system 
And my whole role is helping you vet guys at a much deeper level than you can on the surface level because the fact is, ladies, you weren't trained at this. You weren't taught this. We grew up with that fantasy that if you have chemistry with someone, everything is going to magically work out. And we know that that's not the case. Chemistry doesn't lead to relationship success. Okay, so it takes time to learn their real intentions. The E, if I did, or E, stands for exclusivity. Ah, now that's a big word. So let me share with you why I believe this. Um, I am the type of person that if I'm intimate with someone, I don't want to be intimate with multiple people. In other words, I'm just afraid of getting cooties, okay? I'm old school, I think that way. But um, to me, once you begin an intimate relationship with someone, a sexual relationship, then it should be from a physical standpoint, monogamous slash exclusive. In other words, you're not, you, there's an understanding that you're not going to be sleeping with other people. So I think it's really important to discuss if there's going to be an ongoing sexual relationship, is this a monogamous one? Is this exclusive one? And I don't mean an exclusive uh, relationship, I mean when it comes to sex. Is this monogamous if we're going to have regular sex with one another? And again, in my coaching program, I actually go into a little bit more detail about how to uncover that when you're talking to a guy. How can you determine if he really wants to be exclusive or is he just in it for a one night stand? Okay, the S. So we talked about care. C-A-R-E-S. S stands for safety. I think it's rather important in a world where communicable disease, you know, diseases and such, especially now what's going on in the world, I think it's important to really be in a place of both emotional safety and physical safety. Physical safety is not catching a disease and then emotional safety because you can get very attached. I mean, men and women attach when they have sex together. So a level of safety, both on a physical level, does this person feel safe to me on a physical level, but also do they feel safe to me on an emotional level? And so when you feel safe on an emotional level, you're more apt or you're more likely to have a deeper relationship and you can build the roots to a long-term and successful relationship. So my short little <laughs> example of when is the right time to have sex with a guy, Follow my CARES methodology, C-A-R-E-S, comfortable, aware of the consequences, learn his real intentions, be exclusive, and be safe. Okay? Those five little things to remember. All right. I hope you found value in this video. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Please post a comment below if this resonated with you. If you have something to say, you have something to share, please you know, post a comment. Also, I've got some great content listed below. I've got my book. I've got a great VIP program called Midlife Love Mastery. Um, and certainly, I'd love it if you could share this video with your friends. Tell them all about my channel on YouTube. I'd be so, so grateful. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do, giving you a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug if I have your consent. Oh, thank you. Mm. Wishing you a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.